Hey everyone and welcome to the 13th part in cracking ML interviews. So here is the problem. Explain the precision, the recall and the F1 score. Ok, so this one is a pretty straightforward one. Let's take it one by one. So precision tells us the proportion of real positives from all predicted positives. So to be more precise and to be more specific, let's say that our model predicted the following labels. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1, where 1 is the positive label and 0 is the negative label. Not all of those predictions are actually accurate and the precision tells us how many of these ones are actually ones. So let's say that for instance the first one is a real positive but the second one is not so this was actually a negative label the third one is again a real positive and let's say that the last one was also a misprediction so this was a negative and how is this calculated well the precision is calculated as the number of true positives divided by the number of true positives plus the number of false positives which in our case would be 2 divided by 2 plus 2. So 2 divided by 4, which is 0 0.5. So this example has a precision of 0 0.5. The second metric we have to explain, the recall, tells us the proportion of real positives that were found. So for instance, for this case here, we have found the two positives on the first and on the fourth position. So our recall would be 1.0 or 100%. However, I've copied the two examples here and if we had here a 1 and we predict a 0, then the recall value would change because we have this positive sample here that we incorrectly labeled as negative. And in this case, the recall would be the number of true positives divided by the number of true positives plus the number of false negatives, which in our case would be 2 divided by 2 plus 1, or 2 divided by 3, which is 0 0.66. Finally, let's look at the F1 score. Well, this one is simply the harmonic mean of the precision and recall. So the F1 score would be equal to 2 multiplied by the precision multiplied by the recall and all divided by the precision plus the recall. Now, one follow-up question would be, so follow-up, why would we use this matrix and not the accuracy? And the answer to that is pretty straightforward. In this case, the accuracy which is equal to the number of true positives plus the number of true negatives divided by the number of samples is equal to 9 divided by 10, which is 0 0.9. So 90% accuracy just by predicting only 0 without training any model, which might sound fantastic, but it's actually a pretty bad model because we missed the only positive sample, which in many cases is quite important. On the other hand, the precision in this case is equal to 0 divided by 0 plus 0, which yeah, is undefined, but in most libraries this will be equal to 0. And also the recall would be equal to 0 divided by 0 plus 1, because we have a false negative here. So the recall would be also equal to 0. And obviously the F1 score, which is the harmonic mean of the two, will be also equal to zero. So we have obtained a 0% F1 score in this case compared to the 90% accuracy, which is a pretty big difference. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.